Hey everyone, I am back today with a new video to show you a nice tool for Unreal Engine called Graphen. It is essentially a collection of tools very useful to make environments as easy and as fast as possible. The main goal is to make artists' life easier and avoid dealing with complex systems like PCG that feel closer to programming. We also bring some useful features and flexibility that is currently not available with the foliage mode. The team at Polygon Flow reached out to me to let me try their product for free. After trying out the IA Scatter plugin and the new PCG system, I was interested in seeing what this tool could offer. They don't expect anything from this video and won't see it before it's published. They just wanted me to give it a try, so this is completely independent. I really want to keep this channel as transparent and honest as possible, and I will always mention the partnerships I may have in the future. So, how does it work? Once you install it, you will see a new icon in the editor at the top. You can search for the tool you are looking for, or double-click on the logo to see what is available. The main tools are the scattering tools, which I will show you now. First, let's make a basic surface scattering. It's really simple, unlike the PCG system. You first choose the surface. Then you can select the meshes to scatter. I have some grass meshes from Quixel Bridge that I can drag into the scene, then add them to the scattering. But there's a better way using the tag system. Click on the tag icon next to the search bar. Here you can make scene tags for objects or asset tags for materials. I'm going to make one for grass and one for plants. Now I can add my grass meshes to the grass tag and right click on scatter, add tag grass. Now I can play with the settings to get what I want. I know this looks a bit weird for now because of the LODs. For this reason, I recommend turning on Nanite for the meshes by going to the bulk editor. So asset actions, bulk edit via property matrix. Then you select your meshes and you enable Nanite for everything. And very important is the preserve area setting which will make sure for foliage like this that it doesn't look weird in the distance. There you go, now that's much better. To fix the grass growing on the sides, I need to adjust the angle mask value in feature masking. Okay, let's try path scattering now. You can use splines to play with the scattering functions. I tried to use a spline made in the editor which should work, but I had some bugs with it, so instead I will use the draw curve tool from Graphen. With this tool, you can directly draw a spline with your mouse. I love it and hate it at the same time. Don't forget to hit escape to exit the drawing mode. Now you can adjust the points in your spline and make it how you want. Now in the path scatter tool, you can choose the curve you just made. Other than that, it's pretty much the same workflow as before. I can add my plants tag to the scatter meshes and play with it. The cool thing about Graphen is that it's easy to use and very fast, as you can see. You can also have different tools interact with each other, like I can do here with the grass and plants. Some other useful tools are the cables bundle, to easily make cables hanging between objects, and the grid scatter tool. For example, I can instantly make a grid of trees, which could be an orchard or some kind of garden. Of course, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are other tools that may fit your needs and more tools coming. The team at Polygon Flow are actually working on a big update for this summer, and from the very limited footage I found on the Discord server, it looks very promising. Another thing I need to mention is that the tools are also available for Maya and they have a standalone software that you can use for free and create your own tools with a system close to PCG or geometry nodes from Blender. Now I'm going to be honest, I had quite a lot of crashes during my testing, both on 5.1 and 5.2. Hopefully the coming updates will bring bug fixes too, but the Discord server is very active with the dev team answering questions quickly and helping you deal with the issues you may have. The Graphen library costs $10 per month for individual users, going down to $8.5 per month if you pay for the year. 
It's of course more expensive than IA Scatter, but you get more functions and support. If you're an indie artist or a small team, this might be great for your needs and keep the budget very reasonable, but expect some bugs along the way. To conclude, I can recommend you to give it a try or keep an eye on it for the upcoming updates, which I will cover on this channel. That's all for today. I want to take a second and thank you for the support you all gave me since I started. We are already more than 1,500 in here, which is crazy. Thank you again and enjoy the summer. See you soon.